Hey guys, it's me, Cindy, and yes, I'm making another review on Teen Wolf. This week's, last week's episode, so sorry for the late review video. I had some trouble with the MTV app. They won't let me sign in. So my friend, Crystal, hi Crystal, um, she let me um, use her account to watch the episode. So I'm barely doing the review just now. So, um, yeah, so this was season 5, episode 12. It's called Dimarjo Marae. means a combination of creating something new and resurrect someone. Well, aka Chimera, what the drug doctors are doing. So, lefting off with the episode is where um, everything is going great so far. Well, thank God that... um. They found out that it was a chimera poison bone stuck in Sal's dad, so thank God that Sal's dad survived the surgery and now he's okay. And it was kind of really intense between the talk between Styles and his dad about like they don't, Styles doesn't know like everything is going wrong and he has no idea how to fix it and everything is messed up. Theo brought back Tracy, uh, Josh, Corey, Hayden back to life and tried to form Theo's own pack. And where everything is falling apart, Kira has a evil fox kitsune stuck in her and she had to uh, get away to stay safe from others. And Lydia is in Icon House. Liam almost killed Scott because Liam thought that Hayden is dead, which is not dead, but thanks to Theo, she came back to life with other chimeras. And in the beginning, it was kind of weird when you see a huge, strange creature. And Scott and Styles are sort of starting to like, um, keep it together and working together again while Malia is going MIA because for some reason she doesn't want to be involved while she is uh, working with Brayden of course Brayden's back woohoo <laughs> Brayden's back in this episode and Brayden's helping Malia find try to find the desert wolf aka Malia's mom who has Dean the animal, animal doctor and hostage and they had to pay a lot of money to know where Desert Wolf is doing and with Dean as hostage and yeah like it was kind of really getting sad when Hayden like don't know how to tell his her sister why she'd been gone missing for three straight days and Theo said oh if you don't follow me I'll kill you again and yeah like, I know you guys really hate Theo, but sometimes when he started, like, getting on his soft side, you kind of feel bad for him, and later Theo becomes jerk again, so you never know, like, if Theo is, like, good or bad, because of the way that he acts is sarcastic, or he doesn't really mean it. I don't know, but to be, to be honest, I love him in Pretty Liars, but not in Teen Wolf. Sorry, guys, but thumbs up if you guys agree about that. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, um, it was kind of creepy when, um, Lydia was dreaming about Meredith, and then Meredith is trying to train Lydia how to wake up from the all day dreaming that she'd been doing on in Icon House. And it was kind of funny when, um, Sky went on Alpha in front of Corey and other chimeras. And Corey's like, he has fangs. <laughs> that was like, the best scene ever. And it was really happy, really sweet when um, Liam and Hayden kissed again and reunite. And hopefully it stays that way. And hopefully I'm praying that Theo won't ruin their love again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I finally find out what this t episode title means. Dimaja Murray. I, I, hopefully I'm praying it right. It means resurrect something back to life, which the beast 
that's what you see the last scene when Allison's dad talking to the old guy about the beast. So we had to find out what that really mean in the next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was really random. Hopefully this makes sense. And don't forget to go on MTV app. And you had to sign in with your TV provider. Hopefully it works for you guys. If not, then if you have iPhone, buy on iTunes. Hopefully you can afford it. So anyway, I'll see you guys really soon. Follow all my social media below. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye, guys. One last thing. <laughs> One last thing. So at later at the end, you see Kira and her mom in a desert with the skin crawler skin. I don't know what they're called. But what do you guys think about that scene? Comment below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week, and I will see you guys really soon.